This is a Peterbilt 389 tractor. It's made by Tonkin and it's in 153rd scale. Why? Why Tonkin do you have to make these tractors in 153rd scale? This thing is fantastic. This is easily the best looking tractor that I have in my collection. And it's in the goofy scale. It's just too small. And it drives me nuts. I mean, this thing is fantastic. The, the paint scheme is great. The colors are a great match. The, uh, I guess the graphic work here is fantastic. The, uh, the fenders are cool. The polished aluminum deck plate is cool. The fat stacks are cool. The visor is cool. I mean, everything about this truck is just fantastic looking. It looks great. But it's just too small. It drives me nuts. I mean, it's got a great profile there. I mean, it's just a bad looking truck. But, just like all the rest of the Tonkin trucks, some things are great, some things are not so great. If you look under the hood, it's got that same Tonkin motor where you got you got your block there and you got hoses and wires and things running in every which direction and it doesn't really look like anything. But it is a motor and it's still in there, so we'll give them points for that. One thing I do like is the uh, this polished aluminum straps for the fuel tanks. That looks really good. You know, with the orange. It just looks fantastic. Something that's interesting is you have the door hinges here and the, the hinges are covered up to match with this uh, this graphic or the, the paint scheme, whatever you want to call it. And I'm kind of scared to open up the doors because I don't want to break that off. I don't know if that's paint or tape or what it is. You can see it's kind of cracked there. So I don't really want to open the doors and get that uh, get that messed up at all. Now the, the roof does not come off the sleeper on this tractor, which is fine. Uh, you don't really need to look in there anyway. Sleeper is a sleeper is a sleeper. Now there's no pedestal or anything back here. No air hoses or nothing. But, but it is a show tractor, so I guess you don't really need to have the pedestal back there. One thing that's interesting is you do have a cover on the fifth wheel, like a lot of the show tractors do. I think... It's got an actual fifth wheel under there. As I know on some of the Tonkin tractors, it's just a cover. But this one seems to be on there pretty tight, and I don't want to pull the fifth wheel off. So I'm just kind of leaving that be. I really like the bumper back here. That's cool. I love the tail lights molded into the fenders. That's another just, it's a teeny tiny little detail, but it looks great. It really does. The bumper is cool. I can't tell if that's um, taller than the, the normal Tonkin bumpers. I think that it is, but I'm not certain. Uh, but anyway, it's just, uh, it's just a good looking truck. I don't, I don't know why Tonkin has to make these in 153rd scale. I mean, not, not to beat, you know, beat a dead horse, but come on you're killing me anyway that's this truck in a nutshell uh, if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask if you would like to see more of what we have please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast as always thanks for watching